What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. Go by the name Black Pegasus. And I'm checking out today Dire Straits for the first time. I don't think I've ever heard anything from Dire Straits. To be honest with you guys, I actually thought this was going to be country music. I think just because the name George Strait, and I have no clue. I don't even know what. This looks like, what, the 70s? Uh, maybe 80s. Dire Straits. Sultans of Swing. I'm getting more like a rock vibe. Uh, and I, like I said, I, I just thought this was probably going to be country music. With just, I think it's just because the name George Strait is so big, you know? Um, but I don't think that's what we got here. I think we got something different. So this is a first-time reaction, blind reaction for your boy. If you're ready for it, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get it going. 40! 40. 40-year-old 40 boy, boy. boys are back in town. 40. For your ears. 40. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Don't forget to support the original content on the channel. Been busting out some music videos and stuff like that. When you support the original stuff, um, I can produce more of it. Now, um, big shout out to all the members on the channel. Appreciate you guys, man. It's crazy. Um, if you want to become a member, the link's in the description. Um, to see behind the scenes and whenever, you know, all these reactions release early um, and people get to see them sometimes weeks in advance. So, yeah, if you want to join up, holla. But if not, no obligation. And just want to thank the members, man. Appreciate y'all making the dream work. It's been kind of a wild ride, too. Like, uh, me and wife here are about to have a baby, man. And I'm like, oh, sh this is getting, I mean, I already have one daughter, but it's getting real again, yo. I'm actually low-key really excited right now. And I just, I'm like, it's just weird. Life is so strange. Having kids changes you. I am rambling right now. That's just on my heart and mind right now. Anyways, let's get into this. Dire Straits, Sultan of Swing. Holy smokes. Let's check this out, man. Let's see what these brothers are about. In the dark, it's raining in the park But meantime Sound of the river, you're stopping your whole everything A band is blowing Dixie Double fall time You feel alright When you hear the music ring Well now you step inside Okay, this song's tight. I don't know where to place it. I don't know where to place like the genre. And the dude is from the UK, right? He said South London, I think, in the song. And I like the storyline. I wonder where the story's going to go. It sounds like, you know, you're going into like a bar, club, venue type thing. You know, you don't recognize the people in there. Now the song's called Sultan's a Swing. It sounds like maybe he was talking about going in a jazz club or something or hearing jazz music or something. Which would make sense if we're talking about Sultans of Swing. This is interesting. I actually don't know what, what to, I don't know, I don't have anything yet. I don't know what to say. I like it. I like it. I, I it's just so, it's weird. The name sounds familiar, but this is absolutely brand new to me. And I don't know where to categorize the music. Like with Black Sabbath, I know that's rock. It's kind of hardcore rock. With this, maybe, what would you say, like contemporary style rock or something? I don't know. Okay, let's go. I'm here for this. He was 
all aggressive with his first. Go back and while he goes all crazy on his guitar on his very first, like it was super aggressive. I noticed that for some reason. <laughs> Check out Guitar George He knows all the chords But it's strictly rhythm He doesn't want to make it cry or sing If any no guitar is all He can't afford When he gets up under the lights To play his thing tripping you guys I, I i'm gravitating to this because th was this ever on the radio at some point because this is one of their big joints this might be their biggest joint on youtube and i don't know but the reason i really gravitate to this is because it's unconventional in the sense that a lot of the radio heavy songs like that i remember from rock right it's like welcome to the jungle we got fun and games like it has these hooks and my man didn't say salt in the swing until like three minutes in. And I haven't heard like a hook. We're hearing a story. And now I'm just watching them play and enjoy themselves. And that's the beauty of musicianship. And I love it. I really am enjoying this. Now, um, with that being said, I get this vibe. Like, So I don't have much to go off, you guys, because a lot of this stuff is new to me on the channel, especially rock and country. And so maybe I'm, I'm, I'm reaching with this one, but in the comments, when I reacted to Leonard Skinner, Free Bird, they called it Rockabilly or Rockabilly, Rockabilly, maybe like Hillbilly Rock. I don't know. Southern Rockabilly. I, I might have blundered that. But when he said honky tonk in here, he, I was started to get that vibe like, oh, maybe this is like Rockabilly or something. I don't know. Cause I don't know. I think I'm just trying to pinpoint that because I it, this is just... I feel like this is a little different than most of the rock that I've reacted to on the channel. And I really like it. It's really good. All right, let's go, man. Let them play. Let them play. Let them cook.
Yo, I didn't even get to talk about his voice. There was a moment where he like changed it and went kind of like, like he did something in the middle of the performance. And his voice is just so calming and it kind of embraces you. Like it's, he just has a good voice. But the one thing with this, I don't know how much, you know, I don't know anything about Dire Straits. So what I'm just going to say is I don't really know his range. Like, does he hit crazy high notes, low notes, or does he just stay in this pocket and be consistent with great songwriting? Because that's what this was. This is great songwriting from beginning to end. I'm just telling you the story. And then Sultan of Swing. Sultans of Swing. Dude, that was tight. Freaking Dire Straits. Okay. All right, let me think of this real quick. Let me think of this real quick. Um, would this make my playlist? I didn't have a magical moment with it. Like something has to like, I have to have like these moments, like it has to stir emotion or something has to happen. I didn't have that with, but this was good. I could play this at the Casa. I don't think this one makes the playlist, but remarkable as well. I respect it, and I really enjoyed it. Maybe this is one I come back to and listen to again. Because um, uh, sometimes these th those type of joints grow on you. Because I really did enjoy that. But anyways, hey, 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 hey. Let me know what I got. What did I miss? Um, what do you think of Dire Straits? Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bodie! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. Boy. F-U-Q-Boy.